Hi guys, so it's Crystal. Hi, and I hope you like this video. So I haven't uploaded for about three weeks. As you all know, I've been to Wales um, with a few friends, and that was for from Monday to Monday, so a week. That was two weeks ago. So I've been back for two weeks, but I haven't kept to my normal schedule of uploading every Tuesday. So I'm going to be getting back to a schedule, but from now on it'll be that I upload on Saturday because if I upload on the Tuesday then I have to film and edit Monday and Tuesday but then if I upload on the Saturday then I have the whole week before to be able to film it because I like to have at least one rest day from YouTube so I'm, I'm going to be showing you someone new today so in this video I will be showing you my bits Okay, so here are my birds. If I just open the door, we've got Blossom there and up there Angel. So we think Blossom's the male and Angel's the female because in most bird species, the boy is the one that with the most colour um, so they can look attractive to the females. So we have had a few eggs being laid, but the, but sadly they've been infertile. So um, they came in a small gold cage and we've actually just bought a new cage because the doors for the small gold cage was only about this size. But um, this one's for their food and water bowls. So, with this specific one, you hold it, pull it up, and take it out like that. It's hard to do with one hand, but... So that's what you do, and then you just pull those up. But then in this cage, the door's this big. So I was a bit, um, at first, because we want to be letting them fly around on that. Because it's not fair for them to just be in a cage. So, at first, we was when we was trying to let them out um, we only could let them out of a small door but now when we're cleaning the cage out on the bottom out because there's actually just a tray that slides out there we have to pick up the cage take it into the kitchen and then put slide out the tray so we have this this like bar thing here stopping it from coming out at the minute while it's here so we have a few toys for them we have that pink log thing and this swing came with the thing and the the three wooden these ones these logs um came with the cage and then this one here was an extra and then we also have this toy and it's like lollipop sticks painted. And then we have the cuttlefish here. So that just helps them sharpen their beak and make it so that their beak doesn't overgrow and things like that. So that's their cage now. And this is actually the cage they came in. So I'll show you that the door is very small so it was hard to get them out if they wanted to come out. There is that door and there's this door right here. So there's that. And then there was a little swing so it's not very big. So if you was to compare it to my hand it's not big at all but the other one's like three four times the size. So it's similar with this cage you just pull it out like that and pull the other one out and then it only came with three feeders and it was these plastic bits to get the feeders off they're quite difficult i can do it one-handed but then um the other cage is a lot easier for that so i'm trying to do it one-handed <laughs> all right so there we go so there's that and then these bits here were quite hard to pull out and then 
even more harder to put back in. I'm not strong enough to do it one handed, I'll do it in a second. But as you can see, that's small compared to the other one. Um, this is the one we got them with, but we was a bit worried about keeping them in here because it actually has like a smash here. Try and focus it there, and we didn't want um, obviously them getting out because it's dangerous and in a bigger world than that. So that's what we got them in. So I'm just standing next to the birds now, just outside the birds' bed door, and I just want to show you what kind of food we give them and what kind of seeds and that that they have to have. Okay, so at the minute we have our where we put our food and we've just put the things in there. So here's the cuttlefish, it's um it's like that. And we just have to keep snapping bits off because the whole thing wouldn't fit. So we've bought a spray here try and feed it to them Let's see um, and I know that that's safe for hamsters as well so you can get them for your hamsters and then actually the other day we bought this sand and it looks dark and it has little bits of shells in it it says so there's that and you weigh in it's 15p for 100 grams but then at first we was using this sand and that also has shells in it but it's a lot more expensive so it's two kilograms for about two pound twenty and then we we buy this sea grass we buy this bird greens thing it's like a little tiny greens as you can see little forage for them and we actually don't feed them this that often um so there's on the top there's the kind of parrots cocked tails like all them and then we've bought this and actually the little doors, they're supposed to fit in, but we haven't tried it yet. So we will be trying that soon, see what that's like for them. Hopefully it's good and it, hopefully it fits into the cage. So we haven't tried it yet. Um, and then we just give them this seed here. So it's not anything special, it's just for... Um, finches and canaries so ours are actually jumbo finches and so that's the organisation for their food and that just tidy it up make sure it's a bit organised okay so that stays in there and then um, we got the birds off an app called Spark and they was actually £80 for the two birds and that little gold cage that I showed you so that's quite a good deal and um, we got that off Spark it's a bit like Cra Craigslist if you're if you're from America or so um, I don't really recommend putting animals onto there, but we thought, well, they're too beautiful birds. We don't want them to go to a bad home, so we just got them. I thought it'll be different because we've got a dog and we've got fish. But um, I've had hamsters in the past, but never have I had a bird. My mum grew up with love birds and budgies and that, so I thought it'd be cool for me to try it out. So my mum actually bought them, and they live. I live with my mum still because I'm in 16 and then so mum buys like most of the things for them but I like to clean them out and spend time with them and I buy a few treats for them sometimes so that's nice and I actually did on another video put that I might be getting 
a hamster for my birthday. Well, my birthday was about a month ago. So, for hamsters, I did have enough birthday money, but I decided against it, seeing as a week after my birthday, I'd be going on holiday to Wales. And now I've spent all my birthday money on clothes and that for the holiday. So, hopefully I, I'm going to college soon, on the 9th, and then I'll get my timetable, and then I'll be able to know what kind of job I, I can get. So that'll be good. And I'm looking forward to going to college and looking forward to getting a job and getting a hamster when I can afford it. Okay, so that's the birds. I hope you enjoyed meeting them. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I just have been quite busy. So I'll just show you the birds. One more time. So I'll just say with their food, what we do is we feed, we fill it up to about halfway and then we leave it for a few days until they get down quite far and then we'll fill it up again. Um, what they tend to do is they tend to eat the insides of the seeds and leave the outsides out. I don't, I don't know whether you'll be able to tell. You just right there and there. See, there's like there's the real, the full, and then there's the outsides. So you do have to refresh, freshen up that every now and then. And their muck, um, they have to be cleaned out about three every three days. So there's them. And as you can see, the swing's singing. And Blossom likes to chase the swing and then jump onto it and sit on there. So that's cute. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you again. Bye!